It's James Brayman. I'm back at the best Minecraft house in the world, Brayman edition. This whole area, the bathroom area, was the hottest area for me. I had this huge room. Didn't know what to do with it. Built a nice spa. That's really nice. Big screen, fireplace. Look how this is all shimmery with the lights. Has lava here, it's nice and warm. Shower was the first thing I made in this whole bathroom area. It's a natural pond. Nice seating area here. Took me a long time. This was the longest room by far. Didn't know what to do or how to fill this room up. I think it looks pretty nice now. I like the ceiling. I like to make the ceilings all different. The color scheme is yellow. That's how I design a room a lot of times is by color. The reason the lab is here is because it includes yellow. The room is basically, it has a yellow theme. Plus it's nice to swim in something warm. I don't like swimming in cold water. Here's a lot of that, that lighting that you can't see from, um, from the onset what's hidden. I think to make a good room you'd have to have a lot of light. There's some more lighting that you can't see. Makes the room more interesting. This here is just a living picture, basically. I included the jack-o'-lanterns because they have yellow in them. Tried to include everything that's yellow. This little fountain has some yellow in it. And as you see up here, I got some glowstones. If I can get there. Up here. There's some lighting here. Gold ore because it's yellow. Now these I consider sinks, but some people have said they're baths. Picture includes yellow. A yellow base for the pool floor. And if you've seen the first video, you know this leads to the grand bedroom. It'll come another time. After all, I'm pretty um, satisfied with how this turned out. This is the master bathroom. I actually used a black theme throughout this bathroom. I 
and all the lighting here is in back there's torches in back of these white iron blocks it's a little sink I did some minor changes here Pretty well satisfied with the bathroom. If I looked at it a couple uh, more times, I'd probably find something I could fix, but pretty well satisfied with that. Down below here, this is ultra bright. If you look around the room, you see very little apparent lighting. But then I have all of these torches down here. I have glowstones here. I have lighting in back of here torches in back of there. I have torches up here. The color schemes regal to me. Black, purple, a lot of these torches the gold. I think it looks majestic. this at night this is during the daytime but at night this really looks nice that gives off a lot of light without being able to see any torches It's unusually shaped because I had originally designed uh, something else, but um, couldn't pull it off. So I had to make major renovations in the, at the end. I try to include a lot of things that are black. Even though there's other colors, I would had to include a lot of other colors because black would be uh, it would have a tendency to be boring so I had to brighten it up I like black and red a lot Ceiling's kind of nice, like the way that it came out. Not sure if you're picking up the purple, but that's supposed to be purple, not blue, but. Carried the bathroom into the urinal. That's a nice urinal. Who wouldn't like pissing on a fire? Pretend you're camping. And this changing room is nice. It's simple. See, I have the light tucked up there. Light tucked up there. Light tucked in there. Little seating area.
And I like how this picture kind of bleeds into the wall. The black at the top and the yellow at the bottom. This is where I made the most changes and I'll be showing that in my next video. This is completely all new up here leading towards the kitchen and the living room upstairs. And then I'll do it for this version. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.